Welcome to Los Angeles International Airport. Everybody's flocking to the city of dreams, hoping to hitch their wagon to a star. Passport, please. What is the purpose of your visit? I'm an actor, douchebag. <laughs> I'm a psychic superstar. I'm a documentary filmmaker. I'm here to win prizes, sweet cheeks. Are you traveling alone? Oh, no, I've got my mum in here. What these three men don't realize is that fame and fortune are fleeting. It's stupidity that's eternal. Welcome to La La Land. Today is the most important day of Gary's new career as an actor. He'll be attending his first audition, a TV commercial. Gary is doing everything he can to prepare. I'm going to see this method mm -hmm. actor, mm -hmm. acting coach. Everybody thinks of the method as what Marlon Brando did, you know. Don't show me that same face. I am going to smack it off of you. Because every time I talk about acting, you give me the face and you're doing De Niro. You have done nothing to prepare for acting. Nothing. But what I'm saying is I can learn a method. Go see the coach and try to absorb one or two things that Gary will use for the rest of his life. I really can do it. Go get him. Cheers, Mrs. L. Downtown, Shirley is setting up a premium rate psychic hotline. He must first recruit a telesales team willing to sell his spiritual products. This is one of the things that I've got which is a globe lantern. I've got a whole load of these. There's probably the box loads out the back. I'm sure. And um, all you've got to do is try and, while you're doing the reading, try and sneak this in and try and get them to buy this off you for $50. It's, it's a lantern, right? But it's a spirit lantern. Right. Are you, are you the man? Yes, I can sell anything. Can I just quickly see how you do that? How I do what? Sell. A globe? Yeah. A psychic globe. Spirit globe. Ring, 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 ring. Psychic network. Uh, hello, um, I, uh, I lost my daughter in a car crash. Oh, I'm so um, sorry to hear that. Someone's run her over and I feel terrible. I'm so um, sorry to hear that. Maybe we can interest you in energy-saving outdoor lamp. You've lost me. Okay, uh, all right, okay. Let's do some trust exercises to build up trust, all right? Okay, fall back, Elaine. Okay. And <laughs> you've all bloody caught her. Hello, thank you for calling the Shirley Ghost Moon Psychic Hotline. Can I give your name and astrological sign? It's a globe meditating lantern. I tell you what, you prove to me that you're my grandmother and I'll buy that stupid light. Why would I sell her a knife and, like, scissors? How, how is that spiritual? It's for grooming your aura. Remember, everybody, keep them on the line. Thank you for calling. The Shirley Guzman Psychic Hotline. How can I help you? What is he? What is he doing? Who is Sorry, he? this pen doesn't work. Oh, shit. Let me get your pen. Let me get your pen. Okay, thanks. I believe that my boss would like to speak with you. Hello, Jenny. It's Shirley here. We can give you one of these clocks at a special price of $30. Oh, she told me 10 Hold on, can I just put you on hold? I said 30. She wouldn't go for it, so I was trying to... Right, watch this and learn. Uh, hello, yes. Your grandmother just come through to me, and she says you should get this clock. I've got a horrible, horrible feeling that if you do not get this clock, something horrible will happen to you and the rest of your family. I'm getting a demon coming through, and something terrible is going to happen. $10 or $30? It's $30. Filmmaker Brendan hopes to turn his fortunes around by capitalizing on an untapped niche in the documentary market. I'm going to be the first right-wing Michael Moore. I'm going to play to the red states. I'm going to give the Americans what the Americans want, following a Minuteman in San Diego. I'm going to shoot this documentary in one take. Right-wing agenda showing how great it is to control the borders. You know, the, 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 the brown Mexican monster, more horrid than, than the worst thing Stephen King could even conjure in one of his well, novels. Yeah. I, I think that most Americans actually agree with that. They'll be behind me. I think they will. I would be fascinated.
to see this documentary. In preparation for his audition, Gary is training with method acting coach Scott Sedita. Hi. Oh, I'm Gary. Oh, hi, Gary. Sit down, relax. Yeah. So have you studied before? Uh, pardon me. Um, no, I have, well, yeah. You come from London? Is London? Yeah, yeah okay. or East London, uh, yeah. Okay, East London. So let's say you come from East London and you come to Los Angeles. And one of the things that you want to do is you want to play professional tennis. So as a professional tennis player, do you think it might be a good idea to train before playing uh, tennis? Well, I'm sorry, you lost me, mate. I yeah. don't. I want to do acting. Like, I know, but yeah. um, if I wanted to play tennis, I wouldn't be here, would I? Well, I'd, I'd go and you know do tennis. I'd... Am I confusing you? No, you're saying. I know what you're saying, because but I can do. I can do. You like, feel all... comfortable talking to me? You're a little bit like a bomb villain in a in a little chair. It feels like you should have a little cat on your cock. You know where you're giving it a little stroke. It's like it ain't normal for a geezer to be like that with another geezer. So I would... What role are you going in for? It's like a, uh, a salesman. For? Uh, he, sa he sells mattresses. I think it's not a bad idea to go into one of these mattress stores and, and, and kind of talk to someone. Because there is something to learn from watching somebody else's life. You need to merge yourself into that salesman. Also, listen. I'm always listening to people because I'm like a sponge. And my mum always say, listen, Gary, because if you don't listen, you don't learn. She's absolutely right. Yeah. And that is, and a, that's why and that is I, a wonderful... And that's why when I... You're not listening to me now. Well, I do listen. Saying. You just said I listened. Uh, I didn't. I said you that's did. a you good said advice. You listen, mm. and that's how you learn. Mm. And you, you didn't even hear that because you ain't listening because you are all about you. In San Diego... Brendan meets the subject of the documentary he plans to shoot in one single continuous take. Jeff Schwilk is a Minuteman, dedicated to defending America's borders. We call it the largest invasion in the history of humankind from one country to the other. They need to go back where they came from. You are a patriot, a hero. It's about your, your day and action. A hero steps from a modern day chariot, Mr. Jeff Shrink. A minute, man. Don't get me in, Keith. <coughs> slow that down, slow it down, slow it down. Illegal immigrants, go home. You are not welcome here. Very good. The command center hummed with a life of its own. I wondered, how many lives? had Schmilk saved with his 1990 Dell. Oh. Whose is that? Kiki? Yes. No, I don't have Sorry, it. sorry, sorry. Anywhere we can pick it up from here? Uh, well, no, we should go back. All the way through. A modern-day hero steps from his chariot. Mr. Jeff Swing? Sorry, I just mispronounced your name. Rhymes with milk. Schwilk. Schwilk. Yeah, yeah, I said shrink. Yeah. I've got it written down here. Schwilk like milk. Yeah. Schwilk like milk. You'll get it. Like all Minutemen, Swink logged on. Swink. I didn't. Schwilk like milk. Jeff mocked up that one. Shh. What is it? Huh? Name. Schwilk. Schwilk. I did say it right, didn't I? Schwilk. Schwilk. Schwilk like milk. Schwilk. Schwilk. Schwilk like milk. Right, come on then. Schwilk, like all milkmen. That's what I think I just said milkmen. Oh, sorry, really quick, straight again. Yeah, let's go. Let's make this one count, guys. Come on. Action. Hold on a minute, sorry. That's... You're sweating. Oh, I know, it's freaking 150 degrees in there. Right, in the car, quick, again. It's like 100 degrees in there. <laughs> oh, is it? Sauna. Hold on, I just got a text. Just hold on one second. Are you speeding, Kiki? Oh, I got a message. Inbox. Okay. Right. Hey, Brendan, are you speaking? Okay just leave this down, or do you really need that it? That won't cut. You need it up? Yeah. When I come out? Okay, just make sure. Okay. Oh, shit. Fucking microphone. Sorry, Jeff. I've left my microphone in there. Gets hotter in here by the minute. It, it functions as a clock radio, but it's it's a pathway because it's been blessed by our Shirley Ghostman psychic leader. 
until the spirit is fading. The spirit is fading right now. It's fading, it's fading, fading, fading. Hello. Um, this is Shirley. Um, the spirit of Lady Di has actually faded away. Uh -huh. But um, I've got some very good news for you. Okay. Um, Mother Teresa is coming through. Mother Teresa is coming through now. Okay. Through spirit. Hello. Oh, hello, Nikki. Yeah? Nikki, hello. This is Mother Teresa calling. I'm so happy to talk to you. Thank you, Mother Teresa is blessing you. Yes. Yes, oh, definitely. Mother Teresa blesses that. Blesses that. Okay, my dear. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Uh, hello. Hello. Hello, this is Shirley Ghostman. Hi. I was just going to say, you did actually speak to Mother Teresa then. And I didn't have a chance to warn you, but that is like an extra $220 on your card. Ah, uh, that's, that's a lot of money. Okay, let me hand you over to my complaints department. Beep, beep, beep. Do, 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 do. Hello, this is Complaints Department. Hello, hi. Hello. Hi, I just, I just wanted to, somebody said I was being charged $270. Oh, well, you, you did speak to Mother Teresa, didn't you? Do you have, do you guys have a business license? Are you, well, what are you, are, are you, have a, you have a with the Better license. Business Bureau? Right, what is going on here? Elaine now is crying. She's threatening to kill herself. Listen to this. Just say you'll kill yourself. Nikki, I'm going to end it. I really am. I'm going to count to three, and this lady is going to jump out of the window of the Empire State Building, so you better pay up. You're going to have to do the noise of you falling out the window. You better pay up. One, two, three. Oh! It's too late. On the advice of his acting coach, Gary has decided to go method and shadow Neil Leeds, a mattress salesman. Do you mind if I record this? Yeah. Right, okay. I mean, so tell me, talk me through where are you at psychologically? I'm always feeling high pitched, high energy, and if anyone sees me, uh, hypothetically, the guy's on drugs. What would you have for like a typical breakfast? Um, to be honest, I stop into a, a 76 gas station, I get a Red Bull or a, a monster drink with a Snickers, and then I'm on my way to my first appointment. Right. It's wiring. I, I got to sweep. I got to clean. I, I got to have the phones ringing. I'm speeding. I'm sweeping the street. I'm running store to store. That's my medicine. That's sugar. Taking the phone calls like this. And then 11 Z's. I'm getting a hostess cake with a 400 and 500 calorie creamy, delicious, and a black coffee. I need caffeine to get me back into the zone of I'm up that coffee yeah. right could you talk me through though from your point of view a morning without stepping out of it okay i didn't even open the door yet i get out of my car I i'm gonna come back over here i'm gonna wipe this down I, I don't like this this is very bad this cigarette butt over there i don't like it look at that i i, I want this painted today right now it's horrible man I, I don't like my day already i want this perfect i see marks water stains behind behind the toilet i want to be able to look at this line and it's straight you are thinking about when I pull this off, is there gonna be a spider here? We gotta be personable. It, you're down, you gotta shake it around. You gotta go, leads, and you gotta dance. Hey, you gotta dance. You know, if you wanna do some dancing, you know, if you need attention, you certainly could get attention. You know, what's up? What's going on? Hey! When you say about the mattress salesperson, he's dynamic. He could fight, he could love. I'm on my edge because I do get the guys coming from the street. Yeah. I do got a guy who might be my competition yeah. coming to bust my chops yeah. and steal all my prices. Yeah. But what, am I going to tell Spencer not to defend himself? Spencer, are you going to defend yourself? Absolutely. Any day, all day, every day. Right? Go on, Neil! Go on, Neil, mate! Go on, get him down! Get him down, mate! Get him down! Get him down! Get him down. Yes! 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 No! Michael, could you come to my office, please? Are you any good with these things? I'm trying to get this off the... What do you call it? Yeah, you, uh... You trying to get out away from this website? Or you want to go into it? I want... Do you like it? I'm not too big of a fan. If, if that's what you like, I mean, that's what you like. It's not my thing. No, no, it's not what I like. I can't stand it. That's why I want it off my computer. How do I get rid of that? So, where, what would you like to look at? Um, big, busty ladies. That's just what I like, ladies. Do you know the public toilets in Griffin Park? 
What's that? In Griffith's pouch, you know, the public toilets. I do not know what the public toilets are. Maybe we can meet there. Uh, I like the idea of strip club much better than the... Okay, let's go, to, let's go to a strip club and get wasted. Okay. And fiddle with some ladies' tits. Sounds like fun. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, Shirley, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, whoa, whoa. He made a call. An emergency call. A call to another minute man. His friend, Barry. Barry, it's Jeff. Did you see the pictures? All right, I'll meet you down there in a little while. Bye. He waited for Barry's reply. He waited for... I waited for you. Right, Jeff, mark that one up. Well, all you have to do is Jeff waited for his reply. It's simple. Jeff waited for Barry's reply. Ja there you go. In you get. Good boy. Good. Let's, Let's do it. Jeff waited. All right. Sounds good. See you for Barry's reply. I don't understand. It's so simple, Jeff. My, my little boy could do this. He's five. Right, okay, let's go. Right, in the car. All right, can you meet me down there? Jeff. Waited. Great. See you down there in a few minutes. All right. Bye. Like a gazelle, he sped to the migrant camps. He began to think out loud. What laws will these migrant campers be violating? Keep going. What? If they're down here trespassing... Oh, Jeff, there was a massive pause there. I'm ser I'm sorry, Brendan, I'm seriously done. No, because we need it with the Zoom. one last chance. Take. Ah! You get one last oh. chance, I swear to God. A hero steps from a modern-day chariot. He is Mr. Jeff Schwilk. Sorry, I just got a text. Five hours. Let me ask you a question. If you took off your jacket yeah. and you tucked in your shirt, put in your gold, they're going to see you make too much money. You got too much gold. You're going to look so much different. Whoa. Already you've changed completely, and I like it. You got the muscles, you got class, and you also could pick up a broom, and you also could wave, shake hands, and if you need to get mad, you certainly could defend. You got it all. I've got to go and open it. Got to get the store open. Oh my God! All right, you know it's what? It's dirt on top of here. You're not mad about it. You're just cleaning it up. You are mad. You're just every fucking day. You're mad. You got so much shit on your mind. You're mad. But Look, you're just you're moving, man. You're not Gary anymore. Remember that. You're not acting. Don't express with your face what you're doing. Just do it. You don't want to step on bed, though. Oh, the toilet's messy. You're not you. You're not Gary anymore. You are this person now. You became the mattress salesman, man. You're not dancing it. You're not dancing. You know why? Because you can dance. And when the dancing time comes out there, you will. Hey, welcome to Los Angeles. <laughs> hey. hey, a little while. Hey, a little while. <laughs> right, you wanted to see me about something. I think that I'm scamming these people. They don't have any special powers, these things that we're selling to people. Oh, but they do. Do you really believe that? You really think that these things, these alarm clocks and these outdoor lanterns are actually going to help people communicate with the dead? I have blessed each of the individual products what we are selling today. I have touched them with my own hands and blessed them. When I got through those lamps last night, I nearly collapsed. Eileen. Eileen, can you get to Sarah's desk now? I mean, this feels like a sweatshop. Now. But that... You go horn, it just feels very impersonal, you know? Like <laughs> If I don't do that, Eileen will run amok. What? I just need support to get this business off the ground. Can I show you something that's very personal to my heart? 
I don't show people this very often. See her. Mm -hmm. She is a poor, impoverished child. And I am paying for her to live. I took that photo. I adopted that girl. And it's my money what goes into her. So can I just say the next time you wobble, have a look at her and think again. Okay. Because if you don't, you end up like her. And she's now dead. Gary has finally arrived at his audition for the Sunlands mattress commercial. He has decided to put all his method training into practice. Let's uh, bring the next guy in. Did you get a chance to look over the sides? Yes, I did. I'm actually the uh, manager of uh, Sunlands. Uh, I thought you might want to uh, have a little look around the place because uh, we do stock all different types of mattresses because I've got a lot of stores to run and uh, I've got a lot of pressure on me because of all the different things that are going on in my life because I've got to keep the sales team going and all my stores uh, at Sunlands. We have a lot of pressure on ourselves to get the other actors in, so let's have you stand behind the black tape. Okay, can I interest you in any of the... No, not at all. Why don't you have a look around the store and if you see something Perfect. you like... Okay. Let's have you in the mark. Would you like to lay down and do the comfort test? This is quite firm because it's 12 sprung. Right? And Lise, what do you think of this? Lovely. Right, okay. So, um, give me a call if you do need me over. I'm just gonna just stand back here. Thank you very much. Thank you. What mattress do you use at the moment? Thank you. Thanks, Gary. We got it. We yeah, got we got it. it. But we appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Right. Cool. I appreciate it. We ain't done me on tape yet, have you? <laughs> we got you on tape. When I was doing the manager of Sunlands, like doing this like method, I thought I'd come in and do method. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, you very much. Thank, you Thank you very much. Thank you. Get, get. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you're done. Thank you. Oh my freaking lord. And he thought out loud. What are we gonna find down here today? What 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 laws are they breaking? Are they violating and trespassing on the girls? Pull in! With a bit of speed. Right, Kiki, out. Hey, Barry, you saw the pictures, right? Yeah, okay, let's go check it out. Let's go find it. The Minutemen, the Patriots, like a pride of lions, looking out across the savannah, the evil migrants from Mexico. The infamous rape grove with the tall. No, Jeff! Wait for the music to just end. Last chance. I'm telling you, last oh, chance. Man, I'm, not an I'm telling you, I don't have time for this. I don't. Right, okay, let's go. Please don't muck it up. Illegal immigrants go home. Great, Barry, great. See you down there in a few minutes. What laws will the migrants be violating? Like lions across the savannah. Jeff knew something was up. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Oh, hi, Jack. Sorry, Daddy's making a film. Sorry, can we cut? His phone is rang about, I, I'm not exaggerating, about eight times. No, no, no. Daddy's not shouting at you. He's not shouting at you. you, you Guys, were... can we cut? Yeah, mister. He said we cut now. Guys, please. Just one proper take. I'll tell you what, let's do, this, let's do one last take here. Let's do one last take. We're going to do it, yeah? Last take. Better get out of here. What? Oh, it's that ruddy woman what wouldn't pay for Mother Teresa. She's going to call the cops on us. I've got a plan. Now get to your station. Okay, Mr. Charlie. Elaine. Elaine, can you come to my office now? So, how's the day going for you? Oh. It's, it's not as productive as I thought. Excuse me. Can you please get back to your station Girl. now? Right. Right there, Elaine. Listen, I'm done, okay? The way that you're treating us feels wrong. It feels like a sweatshop. The way that you're no. announcing things on that big speaker, it's like Hitler youth. It's weird. No. Yeah. I don't think you understand it's what right. we're trying to tell you. Let's go. Let's go. No, I'm going to bring her out. I want to bring her out. Okay, don't take okay. over. Okay, go grab her. Go grab right, her. okay. I've got some news for everybody. I'm promoting Elaine to manager of this branch of Shirley Ghostman's Psychic Hotline. So, everybody, round of applause for Elaine. Yeah. She is now manager. 
Right, who's manager? Elaine. Elaine. Why don't we call Elaine Shirley? Okay, I'm going to pop out now for a bit. Okay, okay, okay. Get my stuff, get my stuff, get my stuff. Get everything, have you got everything? Elaine, you're in charge. Come on, check out. The city streets are paved with all I love to like. I blew right in to make the wrong that I did wrong. Right. I'm gonna step right, make them scream, make them shout, I'll have it 